Access granted. You can't take the Chiron chip away from me. It's my idea, my design, my patent. Dr. Trace, you have to defend your patent for the Chiron chip. The investors have financed the development of the chip. By law, if they can't be repaid, the patent belongs to them. You can't give it to them. They will pollute the vision of everything my Chiron chip stands for. Maxillary fracture, but we're going to lose them. We're going to get this damn artery clamped up. We're losing the vital signs. Give you RD 40. All right, stop. We need the defibrillator. Clear. One, two. is a male, late 20s, multiple amputees, smoke lesions on the lungs, and third-degree burns over 80% of his body. Transferred from county? Mm-hmm. They amputated both of his legs and reconstructed his face. Well, what's the verdict? It's hard to tell. There's so many different pathways for the interface. Only one way to find out. Hello, can you hear me? Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. <laughs> what does it mean? It means he can hear us. What is your name? What your is name? Peter, Peter, Peter pumpkin, pumpkin eater. Maybe his name's Peter. <sighs> I'll try this. Add a wife, a coon keeper. <laughs> Add a wife, a coon keeper. Job. Job, tell me about yourself. Uh, 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 empty space. It's all just empty space inside. I guess you've been erased. I want you to try and visualize all the people and places that you've had contact with in your life. Just relax and let the images come to you. Joe! Hey, Joe! Hi, Peter. Look what I got. Is that the new Cosmic Man? Yeah, it's great. Wow, thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Happy birthday, Joe. Make a wish. <laughs> Excuse me, Job. I'm Jonathan Walker. I uh, run this place. I now own the patent to the Chiron chip, and you can build the chip for me. Job, there's nothing to be afraid of. Virtual reality will rehabilitate your mind and eventually your body. You'll be all right, I promise. Just concentrate. Okay, I'll try some music.
Access granted. Access code is approved. Hey, darling. Hi. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. I have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Here, let me see. Cool. Here. Okay. Man, are you crazy, Peter? You know you can't hurt me. <laughs> What's up, sis? How long, Travis? Right now, did you get it? Ask Peter. Oh. Just shoulder shifted on the way over. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. You're a saint. Thank you. Come on. Let's go inside. Let's do it. I've got us patched to the fiber optics. You've got the access code. Man, we're set. What's up, Sean? What's up? Hey, what's up, Travis? <laughs> Come on. Come on. How about a taste of remote presence, my friends? All hooked up and ready to go. All oh, right. Hey, let's let's use the cyber cycle sticks. No way, man. I'm flying. I am flying. Hey, man. me too. I've been waiting for this all day.
on the cyber cycles. Yeah. Harvey! Har put in the cyber cycle disc. Har Harvey, can you hear me? Put in the cyber cycle disc now! No one jacks out till we find who's doing this. How could that be? There isn't time, Peter. I need your help. I'm dying. <laughs> what do you mean, dying? The cyberscape is dying, and so am I, right along with it. I'm trapped here, Peter. You've got to help me. I, I don't get it. I need you to find someone for me. Benjamin Trace. What? Dr. Benjamin Trace. He's in seclusion somewhere. You've got to bring him, Peter. When the cyberscape dies, so do I. What if you want Jack in? Tell him I'm building his Chiron chip. And I need to know about the Egypt link to complete it. No! Ah! Um, I don't think he's breathing. What do we do? Um, let's try CPR. Hurry up, we're running out of time. Right. Right, go, let's go. Three, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Breathe. Breathe, Peter. Breathe. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Breathe. It's not working. All right, one more time. Come on, Peter, breathe. One more time. Two more times. Three more times. Four more times. All right, come on. Yeah. You okay? If you knew you were in danger, you should have jacked out, you jerk. Peter, 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 Peter,
The spokes are the different pathways between the two. The Chiron chip will open up these pathways simultaneously, so a network based inside VR can be accessed by everyone. Ah, uh -huh. so, next miracle. Please. Jennifer, when you hook into the library of my virtual city, you hook into every <laughs> library in the world. And ultimately, the chip will bring everything online for everyone. Well, yes, it's very pretty, Jonathan, but I think we'd be placing quite a concentration of power in your lap. Mm, my lap is your lap, Senator. Twinkie. How'd it go? Walker makes me feel like the star poodle in his dog show. At least you get top billing. <clears throat> no, Walker always gets top billing. Of course, you didn't mention the fact that it's you completing the Chiron chip and designing the virtual city. I don't mind. I care how other people see you, how they perceive you. That's your world, Dr. Platt, not mine. My world is in here. Out there, people look at me and they see half a person. But in here, they see what I want them to see. How I really am. Here. I don't see you have a person, Job. That's your world. Good night, Job. What do you want? You sure don't look like the father of virtuality to me. What? You're Dr. Benjamin Trace, right? He's dead. Dead? I saw what they said in the internet. The internet, they said he was, like, living here. The Benjamin Trace you want is... Uh, resting in peace. So I suggest you get on that cool bike of yours and... going home. I don't know what Joe was thinking. It's just crazy as this guy. Trippy fool invented some kind of Chiron chip. What did you say? Chiron chip? Come inside. So what's your name, kid? Peter. Doc. <laughs> Call me Trace. Trace. Well, Peter, you know, it's all here. All the answers. In the earth. In the water. And in the air. Yeah. The reason I came is because my friend Job is dying. He said that you're the only one who could save him. You seem a bit young to know anything about the Chiron chip. Well, Job told me about it. Who's Job? He was a lawnmower man back when my mom was still alive. And he was my best friend, but now he's stuck in virtual reality. What does he know about it? He's building it. He's building it? Yeah, that's what he said. So you're gonna help or what? I don't live that life anymore, Peter. It's, uh, all that technology, it just consumes the soul. Check this out. I need your help. You can find me at 3rd Street Station. Tunnel 11, you ever change your mind?
Dr. Benjamin Trace. Only he can stop this. What if you want Jack in? Tell him I'm building his Chiron chip. My dog does not stink. Yes, it does, Sean. Burning my eyes. It does not stink. I looked at him and I almost went blind. It does not. My we dog... all know Harvey used to be a poodle. He looks like a chihuahua on steroids. Who is it? Peter? Trace? Hi. You know this guy, Peter? Back off, guys. This is the guy Joe told me about, all right? You all live down here? Oh, no, this is just our summer cottage. <laughs> I love your ventilation system. Listen, I think this guy can help us, okay? Adults have betrayed me my whole life. You know that, Peter. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Look, Travis, you don't have to trust him. You just gotta trust Peter. Yeah. So you're the Einstein of VR? I'll take that as a compliment, Travis. You know, Einstein made a few mistakes himself. What are these? Man, you must really be a dinosaur. See the electroplates on the sides? They hit your temple and tap into certain neurons, giving you full neurosensory involvement. Oh, you can actually feel? Exactly. See, that's why we gotta save Job, though. Because it's real in there. If he dies in there, he's gonna die out here. Are you sure Job needs saving? What are you trying to say? Job wouldn't lie to me. He's not that type of person. You said you couldn't trust any adult. He's not like you. I mean, he's like a kid. At least he was until... Until what? Until my next-door neighbor did some experiments with him in VR and turned him from a simpleton into a genius. Look, we're wasting time. You can ask him yourself in VR. Ready? Yeah, let's look it up. Let's do it. OK. Doc. Here's your stuff. Oh, I don't want to go into VR. Why not? I'm not ready yet. Just, uh, I don't know. I'm scared I might get lost or something. Fine. I'll go in. Okay. to my world, Peter. Did you bring the good doctor? No. Oh, he's watching. You won't jack in. And jack in, jack off. What's the difference? Scared of the boogeyman, doctor? You can at least humor me with a point of view, can't you? It's a pleasure to finally meet you, doctor. I feel like we're almost... I'm blushing. Family. <laughs> I don't think so, Joe. Don't be so sure. Incest. The game the whole family can play. My brother's my daddy. <laughs> we have a lot in common, Dr. Trace. We're both unwanted, underappreciated, and ahead of our time. The only difference is your time was then. My time is now. It's a short ride, Job. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, I plan to enjoy it for a very long time, Doctor. You see, I found the secret to immortality in the Chiron chip. Where is the Chiron chip? Come with me now, won't you?
ship. It's taken years of work, but our Chiron chip is finally a reality. Ging, 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 ging. Look what I'm doing, Doctor. Isn't it amazing? You don't look like you're in danger. What do you want? Egypt. <laughs> Come on, don't hold back on me. It's a hidden nano routine encoded into the design of the Chiron chip. I'm not going to help you. Tell you what. You share Egypt with me, and I'll share with you technological knowledge beyond your wildest dreams. This is your world too, Doctor. Your work helped create it. My work is to build it. Now, tell me, Doctor. What does Egypt mean? I'm not going to tell you. You're insane. You don't understand its power, Joe. Oh, but I do, Doctor. And in three days, I'll be in every system in the world. No. Tell me what Egypt means, Doctor, before I get really fucking pissed off! Get out of there, Peter. Peter, get out of there! Get him out of there! Peter, Peter get out of there! He's getting out of control! Peter. Come on! Why I know it's wrong! I've never seen Job like that before! Like... You said the trains didn't run through these tunnels. They don't! Oh my god. It's heading right for us! Emergency procedures at once! Get out of here. What? What this is Get out of here! Get out of here! Go! This bitch, do something! I can't. 
can't get up. I can't leave Harvey here. Come on, Sean. deal with the true believers. Show me all the contributors to fundamental world religions over the past five years. And each user thinks that they have total privacy. Every time anyone logs onto Virtual Light Uplink, we'll know every goddamn thing about them. Now, show me all hypocritical Democrats making over 300000 a year. That train was no accident, was it? Not a chance. Man, now we've lost our home and the cyberscape. I bet Job did it so he could build a city. Like this world didn't suck enough already. I think that's just a taste of what he can do if he goes online. It can't get any worse. I mean, what's with this Egypt thing, Doc? I mean, doesn't he need that from you? If Job's worried about Egypt, it means he's about to use that chip to its full hideous potential. Which is? Enter every and any system in the world and take over through VR. So is there any way to stop him? Or should we just start digging up our own graves? We've got to get the Chiron chip from him before he figures out Egypt. That's what we've got to do. Federal library? If we can use their computers to track down Job, we'll find the chip. That's right, Peter. You are Let's go. <sighs> Jade? Initiate image regeneration. You've got to help me. But isn't that just like a recording? No, we've got to strip away the layers within the program to discover who the software that Job used to enter VR was licensed to. <laughs> we've got a problem. I can't get past the memory lock to isolate the chain. Simple. Just enhance the memory index. What have we got here? Actualized data. Five. Here we go. Execute worm function. Enhance. Redimensionalize variables. Ta da! <laughs> All we have to do now is access Datatronic systems. I'm right with you, Doc. Okay. There's our registered owner, Platt. I'm accessing phone listings now. Okay, we've got 43 Platts. See if you've got a Corey Platt. C-O-R-I. No Corey, but we've got three C Platts. One's a PhD. Bring up the doctor. Whoa. She. Hey, Trace, pull over. Aren't we going to Dr. Platt's apartment? Yeah, but first we gotta get a tracker so she can lead us to the chip. It's locked. 
So how are they gonna do this? <laughs> no problem. My brother can handle it. Really? He's great at this kind of stuff. It's unlocked. Let's go shopping. Well, the extra day I got Greenspan to stay was useless. That liberal idiot is on his way back to Washington right now to recommend that they rescind our license to go online. If we lose that license, we're dead. Accessing LAX reservation file. Passenger, Robert Greenspan, flight 3701. Access number 3701, flight navigation computer. Access denied. Access granted. Reset system. Autopilot descent from 30,000 feet. Warning, altitude 15,000 feet. Execute. We've lost the instrument panel. Activate autopilot. Autopilot activated. Descent rate increasing. Override autopilot. I can't. Contact approach, declare an emergency. Open top secret files. Request data transcripts, Joe, virtual light. You're awfully nosy, aren't you, Guillermo? <laughs> Forgotten me? Not for lack of trying. How have you been? Fine, Ben. What do you want? I need to talk to you. About Job. He's not what you think he is. Neither are you. He's very dangerous, Corey. Hardly. And what makes you think you can just show up here and entertain a conversation with me? Please, I know you're angry. You have every right to be I'm angry. not angry. I'm leaving. Corey! What? Let's go. You, you look terrific. More beautiful than I remember. Okay, has Job used up all the memory in your system? <laughs> Every printed word, thought, and deed in human history couldn't begin to fill the type of memory we're using. Because of my Chiron ship. I heard you deserted that project just like you did us. I'm sorry you lost the patent. I don't want pity, Corey. I want the chip. And you want me to help you get it? Forget it. You should know what Job is up to. Don't patronize me, Trace. I'm not your student anymore. You tried to kill me, Corey. You mustn't let him go online. Check his data file. You'll be surprised at what you find there.
Hey, how are we doing? Cool, the track is working. That's what we had to break into to get the chip. Got any ideas? We could have Jay tap into the county engineering and pull up the blueprints on that place. That's a good idea. You're cleverer than you look. Thanks. Where's David? I don't know. He's just here. Ma'am? David? Yes, ma'am? Take that down to the mailroom. Right away. Arthur, it looks like you've been going at it for hours. Walker's orders. You don't do anything on this project without my authorization. Tell me Can what's I going speak on. with you for a moment? What? I do take my responsibilities just as seriously as you do, you know. You do your job, and let me do mine. What exactly is your job? Corey, we got a problem. What? All available memory capacity on the I-1086S, gone. That's impossible. I know that. What is going on? I didn't authorize this equipment. Job, what happened to the memory? I forget. Walker's behind schedule. We're not behind schedule. He's losing money and he wants to working around the clock on the virtual light. I'm not going to discuss this with you. He's going online tomorrow. Oh, really? Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker. Oh, I think you've made a mistake, Doctor. No. I think you've made a mistake. Why wasn't I notified that you intended to put Job online tomorrow? Well, you're just a scientist. I'm the businessman. And Job is a human being. Job is a part of this project, a supremely important part. And every day that virtual light goes unfinished is costing me millions in potential revenue. He's showing signs of instabilities. I'm worried about him. <laughs> well, the man is at a distinct disadvantage. You have been profiting off this man's misery for years. How many times have you postponed his prosthetic legs? Well, I couldn't have him literally getting up and walking out on us now, could I? Why don't we discuss this after Job goes online tomorrow, OK? Request file, Job. Access denied, code 7. Override code 7, 3942. Access granted, please wait. File 248, Job, empty, contents erased. Whose authorization? Jonathan Walker. Dr. Platt. Henry, you startled me. Just making my rounds. Is everything OK? Fine, fine, fine. I was just dropping off some production charts for the week. Good night, Henry. Good night. Did I hurt you? Oh, yeah. 
We're okay, ma'am. We'll be just fine. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Let me... Me again. I was right, wasn't I? Job's expanding his memory base. Get out of the car. Corey. <sighs> ah, good, I caught you. A guard reported seeing you in my office this evening. Now, surely you could have come up with a better excuse than production shots. No, 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 no. Job is going online tomorrow, so I wanted to deliver them to you myself. I see. Well, good. Be sure to get some rest. We've got a big day tomorrow. You're working for Jonathan Walker? He's the one that stole my patent? He didn't exactly steal it. He was one of the investors that took me to court. Get out of the car. I was right about the memory base. I'm right about Job. I don't think you and Walker understand the power you're dealing with. Get out. I thought you were better than this, Corey. You stole a gun. Come on, man. It's a camera. Check it out. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Execute virtual surveillance system loop. Your attention, please. A coolant test will be run on levels 8 through 10 at 0300 hours. Thank you. Yes. It's a special laser alarm, sensitive to anything above zero degrees centigrade. Come. I've got an idea. Yeah, it's Dr. Platt. I seem to have left my key card in the lab. Oh, yes, Doctor. I'm sorry, we didn't know it was you. Thank you.
this isn't one of your best ideas. I wouldn't trust anybody else. You can do it. Stay steady now. Chip, put your guns down. Put them down or I'll smash it. Put them down now! Slide them forward. my life you find me irresistible you got the chip good work <laughs> you're bleeding let's get out of here
right side, right? What is that? Nothing, just some dirt. Bring it to me. Get that dirt, you idiot. Yes, sir. Take off your shirt. What do you have in mind? Shut up. I need to stop this bleeding, and I'll be damned if I use my shirt Ooh. to do it. Do I know you guys? Ow. Ow. <sighs> I know I owe you an apology, Corey. <laughs> you could say that. Do you mind? Oh, oh not, not at all. all. Mm -mm. Tell we're not here. Yes. Yeah. OK. So I apologize. I'm sorry, Corey. I really am. I didn't want to see anybody. I was too ambitious. I was naive. I was... You're stupid. That too. Thanks for the medical attention. You're welcome for the medical attention. <laughs> See how they were able to bypass the capability protection registers? I know, it's amazing. It makes me wonder if I could have ever finished it myself. <sighs> the chip was supposed to make things better for them, wasn't it? Ironic. Still, maybe it could. What did he do here? That's where Job merged the nano-matching hardware. He couldn't have. There's no transmatrix. Yes, sir. There isn't. Something's wrong. It should be there. So you lost the chip. You idiot. You honestly think I didn't trust something that important to you? Voila. But people want to show. And now that Job has solved the Egypt link, the chip can be activated. Now get out of my sight. Any progress? Job is tracking down the intruders by analyzing the dirt sample we found. Good. And you are ingenious. Yes, I know. I think it's time we called the president. Try to get virtual light Europe. Where? Anywhere. Uplink. England. Mm -hmm. Virtual light. <laughs> Nothing. Greetings, Mr. President. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion. I'm happy to be here. I was shocked to hear about Senator Greenspan's dreadful accident. Mm, yes. I know how much he wanted to be a part of what we're doing here today. But la vie continue. Mm. We will be joined by hundreds of other prominent people who'll be jacking in from all over the country. So if you're ready, if Don your iPhones, and we can begin. I'm... Just relax. Gentlemen, welcome to Virtual Light. We stand in the face of a new age. The future is one world, one thought, one mind. Behold. The future! is now.
そのグループの株を58でくれ It's all taken care of. The foreign marketplace will be secure only when they place their money in your hands. Excellent work, Joe. It's already started to happen. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means that Joe must have figured a way around Egypt. And he's using the chip to enter every system and program around the world, replacing it with himself. Takes about 12 hours for the interface to complete. Once complete, it's irreversible. Walker's gonna stop him. Are you crazy? Who do you think is doing this with him? Walker's a businessman, and Job is bad for business. Come on. Well, what a surprise. I didn't expect to hear from you so soon, Doctor. You've got to stop Job before it's too late. Too late? What happened to your sense of loyalty, Corey? You wouldn't know the meaning of the word, Walker. Is that Dr. Benjamin Trace? Listen, Walker, you've got to take Job offline immediately. <laughs> well, you see, Doctor, I would love to accommodate you. I really would. But that's not an option I can exercise right now. Listen to me, you stupid bastard. If you do not take him offline, you will have no options. No one will. Are you threatening me, Doctor? No, I'm not. Job is. Job is a loyal employee of this company. I trust him with my life. Well, you better, because you just gave it to him. Time to get rid of some pesky little roaches. Stop. Back two sectors. Enhance. They check in, but they don't check. System override. Interface. Give me access to all credit accounts. I'm sorry, your account is overdrawn. Huh? This card is no longer valid. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> ATM machines. <laughs> Department of Water and Power. Reports of citywide civil disturbances have been verified as the police department has gone on full tactical alert. But with automated system failures occurring throughout the city, response is expected to be slower than usual. Already the violence has taken several lives and few see an end to the continuing chaos. Officials are reporting a remarkable outbreak of looting and random mayhem throughout the city, nation and globe. Joe, he's finished his city. That's why he waited, so he could offer an alternative. People need hope. If he can destroy our world, he figures we'll have to turn to him as the new messiah in cyberspace. But you can't live in cyberspace. Job can. 
If he can achieve global interface, we won't have any choice. Egypt. Where they built the first dam. The chip is a dam. Exactly. Come to me, all who have burdens. I will set you free. And you will no longer be the bastard children of a lost generation. with your fellow man. This is true spirituality. There shall be no more authority to oppress you. World economic markets have taken some of the worst collapses in history. Jonathan, Hello, I have Mama. some bad news, and I have some bad news. The core of a reactor in Kazakhstan waiting for Delta. In the worst year accident since Chernobyl. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Come in here. What are you doing? Stay here. You can't go anywhere. Come on. Joe, what the hell is going on? We've lost control of the entire system. All the laboratory files are disappearing. Are you messing with me? Now answer me. That's an order. <laughs> you have no power to give orders. In a hundred years, your petty financial empire won't mean anything. But I'll still be here. You son of a bitch. Without me, you're nothing but a deaf and dumb cripple. I made you, and I cannot make you. Jonathan. Twenty minutes to global interface. Joe will remain inside. So it looks like you have two options. You can either heavily sedate him, or you can take him out. If you want to take me out, just ask. Open the door, goddammit! Bastard. the way you want to play it. <laughs> Prime alert. Security breach. All personnel. Prime alert. Security breach. All personnel. Code red. Code red. This is an emergency. All personnel will evacuate the building immediately. There are three terrorists on the premises, fully armed and dangerous, moving down corridor 6D. Shoot on sight. Repeat. Shoot to kill. That son of a bitch. Wait, sir. He just said there were terrorists in the building. Where the terrorists, you idiot? Give me that gun. There are three terrorists on the premises. Shoot on sight. Repeat. Shoot to kill. No!
15 minutes to global interface. Give yourselves to me. Your rebirth in the womb of cyberspace is a chance for a new beginning. To live in Eden without hunger, without famine, without temptation. Ten minutes to global interface. Ten minutes, Corey. You better watch the monitors. And pull the real chip at the exact moment you destroy the virtual one. Trace. Check it out, man. Let's look. Wow. If we could just jack into that dome unnoticed. Won't work. Does Jobel know everything about anyone who jacks into the dome? We're gonna find another way in. All right, well, these are the routes for the information superhighway that lead directly into the dome. You don't have to jack in, Doc. You have a problem with jacking into VR? No, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna run away this time. Okay, listen up, you guys. We're gonna follow this super highway uh -huh. right. yeah. through the city, uh -huh. right. where it goes underground, right. all the way into the dome. We take this access route here, follow that up inside, uh -huh. and comes a tricky bit. Uh -huh. Got to get by Job, yeah. smash the chip. How are we gonna get through the city? Well, how's about a little bike ride? Okay, let's do it. Cool. Okay, uh, Travis, you have mechanical needs. Destroying the chip won't stop Job. Okay. What do you really have in mind? The paradox on the chip is that whereas it gave Joe the power to go online, it contains a dam function to prevent the use of absolute power. If we destroy the chip, we destroy the dam and expose Joe. I've got to make him angry enough to destroy himself. Trace, come on, man, we gotta go! If you can't, get out. I don't want you disappearing on me again. Final days, the material world will fade away, and only cyberspace will remain. In, in the, the womb, womb of cyberspace, cyberspace is a chance for a new beginning. beginning to live in Eden without hunger, without famine. With me, you will find refuge. Joe! Save you, Joe. In here, I am the savior. Trace! One more man is dead! Interface. 24. 
By the way, I don't have to worry about Egypt anymore. I simply built around it. You destroyed Peter's world. I'm going to destroy yours. Trace. I don't need the Chiron ship anymore. I've become the ship! You betrayed Peter, Joe! You've sold your soul for nothing! You don't even have enough power to destroy me! Is that all you've got, Joe? Is that all you've got? Is that the best you can do? What? happening to me? Egypt, go! Egypt! <laughs> Probable pathways to interface. 40,000. 84. He's regressing. Job? Well, isn't that touching? I want the chip. You can keep the rest for what he's worth. We'll give you the chip. Give us the kid. I really dislike repeating myself. Give him the chip. Uh. Oh, by the way, Dr. Plaid, you're fired. Thank you, man. 